So what I'm doing here today is planting some fruit seed that I've eaten during the week and rather than throw the seed away I keep it during the week and then on good fruiting days or just any days that are, I feel that are good for planting, conducive for good planting, um, I'll plant them. So here's the seed raising mix that I just made up and it's got some sort of red sandy loam clay in it and river sand, compost and vermiculite. So here's the same mix from maybe a week ago, not long ago, and you can see lots of little green shoots coming up and it's getting to the 90% stage I think at the moment of germination rate so that's a really good sign that it's a um, good seed raising mix and here's my little tray of seeds from during the week got a peach avocados dates olives um, orange uh, a few apple so I've never planted dates before um, and they are a slow growing tree but why not <clears throat> you know and they're particularly suited to the climate here because it can get really hot and can get dry at some time, at some stages, so um, that's a good thing to be able to have a, a tree that can survive those things and also it's uh, frost tolerant so they can handle a really wide variety of temperatures um, and as many of us know dates um, are one of the uh, classic power foods for a pack full of carbohydrates and calories so they're a really good thing to get and living in Australia there's um, not they're very hard to access organic dates I, I can't I don't, I don't know where they are I'm sure that they're available but there's I read that there's only 50 hectares total in Australia of dates growing, which is bugger all. And I don't know how many of those get exported. Well, 90% of the dates growing in the world um, are consumed in the country of origin. So there's not many sort of places that you can access the dates outside of any of the countries that are growing them. And if you can, they're expensive. Two to five years time, these seeds should be beautiful trees producing beautiful fruit. This way of planting tree seed, you might turn up with a, a tree that was growing on the earth you know, 5,000 years ago that no one's seen at this time, uh, producing the most beautiful dates you've ever seen. Having trees around is better than having barren earth fruit trees so here we go all done and watered so I label everything pretty clear because when they come up and they're babies you have no idea what they are but anyway there you can sort of get a bit of an idea and if potentially say half of those turn into trees even just a few of them turn into beautiful fruit bearing trees hey you know paradise begins anyway you got a bit of an idea now and um Go fruit yourself. Seeds that have germinated from the small pots I've transferred them into these larger pots here and they'll stay in these until they get big enough so I can put them out into the wild otherwise they can easily get too much sun or animals knock them over or stamp on them or eat them or something. Um, so this is a baby apple and this is a pecan a red apple and to just put these in is a passion fruit little ones still still babies and ice cream bean which is a South American tree um, they grow really well 
almost too well here and a prolific kind of way but they're a really beautiful shade tree and the birds love them and then um, over here are some um, grape cuttings that I've done a while back no, not that long you know maybe two months and they're going really well all it was was a stick that little sticks there and then they're shooting off so they're all coming out really well so you can get a bit of an idea of the process here and um, what happens when you save your seed. It's really rewarding to be able to see the growth from a seed that um, has all this life energy in, in it and together with the human factor of care and co-creation we um, can create life. So it's really satisfying um, process. So, you know, the rewards are potentially free food and beautiful food, bountiful food from seeds that you've grown, you know, very special thing and um, I hope you're inspired.